Welcome to Life Journey. The Bible say, greater, greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. The Bible say in John 14, 15, and 16, as Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, even so shall a son of man be lifted up, that whoso believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoso believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Today, I like to talk about love because a lot of people don't know the real meaning of love. Love is not about sex. Love is not about a one night stand. Love is not about Valentine or Valentino, but love is God. Glory to God. As a lot of people need to know the meaning of love. I'm going to tell you the meaning of love. The meaning of love, when Jesus Christ say, glory to God, in, in, in John the 12th chapter, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. When Now, when Jesus Christ was speaking about that, he was saying that he going to be crucified on a cross. He going to die for mankind. He's going to shed his blood, glory to God. From the sixth to the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, say, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? I'm talking about love. Jesus Christ was the greatest lover in this world because he loved us so much, he died on the cross. Jesus Christ took off his glory. God took off his glory in heaven. Glory to God. Came among men. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says he came unto his own and his own did receive him. But as many as receive him, he gave them the power to be, become the sons of God. I'm talking about greater love. And a lot of people think that they love because of situation. But Jesus Christ's love was unconditional. Oh, glory to God. When Jesus Christ died, my friend, hey, glory to God. When he say, Father, it is finished, and he, he hung his head down and died. But that was not the end of the story. Hey, glory to God. He went, he went to hell, my friend. He went to the grave. He went to, hallelujah, the, uh, the bottom part of the earth, my friend. And Jesus Christ, he remember your name. He remember my name. And he came back, hallelujah, with all power in his hand. The Bible says he took the key from the, from the devil. He said, oh, death, where is, is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? I'm talking about love. There's a lot of people, they talk love but don't show love. And it's amazed me and it surprised me. And I'm applaud, my friend, that how people say that they have the Holy Ghost but they don't have love. They get in lines and say, Pastor, pray for me so I can love my brother. Pray for me so I can love my sister. Pray for me that I can love my husband. Pray for me that I can love my wife. My friend, you need the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost, the first fruit on the Holy Ghost is love. There's a lot of people, they live in this world without love. They have hatred. Like the first, the first murder in the Bible when Cain slew his brother Abel. But Jesus Christ is the greatest lover in this whole wide world. Not Valentino, because Valentine only comes once a year. Hey, glory, you buy all the chocolate, you buy all the teddy bear, you buy all the roses, and you buy the hotel room just for the one night stand. But Jesus Christ. 
is the greatest lover in the whole wide world because my friend the good samaritan that was love and it's amazing how the priest and the levite saw the man and walked away from the man but the bible said a good samaritan came and stopped and helped the man and put him on a beast and came to the end the the, the lord said who is my neighbor so your neighbor is not somebody that lives next door to you. Your neighbor is somebody you don't even know. That's your neighbor. And it's amazement that people say they have love. And they see somebody's car broke down in the highway. And you, glory to God, saw it. And you passed by and got audacity to blow your horn. Somebody been put out their house, put out their apartment, my friend. And you gather trucks. And you get all the stuff and put in your truck. And you say you have love? That is not love. That is stepping, that is stepping somebody that's already down. If you can't, my friend, pick somebody up, my friend, you don't have love. Because the Bible say, let not love in word nor in tongue, but in truth and in deed. We need to love more. And love is not just on Valentine's Day. Love is not just on Christmas. Love is not just on Easter. Love is not on Palm Sunday. But love is every day. Because it was love that woke you up this morning. It was love that starts you on your way. It was love that gave you activity of your limb. It was love, my friend, that saved you. And the saving is not for you to be saved only. It's but for you to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the greatest lover in the whole wide world is Jesus Christ. It was love that he died on the cross, my friend. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. It was love that, that woke you up. Hey, glory. If it was a devil, he'll let you die and, and you be the cooling board. But it was God love that woke you up this morning and start you on your way. I'm talking about the greater love. Have no man than this. Glory to God. The greatest lover in this whole wide world is Jesus Christ. Don't be fooled, my friend. Don't be fooled by people saying that they love. But deep down, they have no love absolutely, positively, no love. They have lust. Because if you're in a marriage situation, hey, glory to God. And you can't love according to your flesh. You can't love according to your family. And you can't love according to feeling. You can't love according to factual evidence. You gotta love because it's an invisible essence. Hallelujah. You can't, you can't see love. You can't feel love. You got to know for sure it is love. And God is love. We can see him, but we believe him. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And that's what's wrong in our society. People have lust rather than love. It's a difference. L-U-S-T, L-O-V-E. Lust is according to the, the eye gate. And love is according to the faith gate. Hallelujah. It's a difference. But Jesus Christ is the greatest lover in this whole wild world. If you can't love your brother because unconditional, you don't, you don't have love. Hey, as God gives us love, every believer should have love. Every saint should have love. Every person that say they are born again, they should have love. Because love is unconditional. Love is of God. You can't, my friend, you can't buy love. Because love is not for sale. You can't put on and take off this love. This love come with the Holy Ghost. And a sign of a believer, a sign of a lover, a sign of a person that love, my friend, is not because you carry a Bible. It's not because you're dressed up, because the Bible says, don't render your, 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 your garment, but render your heart. The sign of a believer is not because he carried a Bible. 
The sign of a believer, not because you attend church. The sign of a believer, not because you speak in tongues, uh, because you become a sander. The sign of a believer is L-O-V-E. Prove it. The Bible say, for this shall men know that you are my disciples if you have love one toward another. And it's time for us to show the sign of love. Because love is a sign and love comes from God. The devil show hate. The devil show lust. There's a lot of marriages that are based on lust, my friend. They're based on the bees. Yes, the bees, my friend. The breasts. The butt, hey, yes, my friend, and the booty. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah, and the brain and the beauty. But it's time for us to see the real essence of love. The real essence of love is God. And if you can't love the beyond, I'm talking beyond the butt, beyond the beauty, Beyond the brain, beyond beyond the, the, the things that are, 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 are judged according to appearance, but just right, just judge. We're not marrying somebody because of, uh, of their shape. We're not marrying somebody because of their beauty. We're not marrying somebody because of their breasts, because of their butt. Oh, glory to God, because of their beauty and their brain. We marry somebody because we love them. And if you marry somebody for condition, hey, glory to God, you're going to be in the divorce court within six months. Yes, I'm going to say it again. If you marry somebody because of condition, I see you in six months at divorce court because love is invisible. Love is not about the eye gate. Love is according to the faith gate. Because of faith, the Bible say, now faith is a some of the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we can't love because of what we see. Because picture this, my friend, you love her because she's sexy. What happened if she get depressed and start eating and looking fat and out of shape? Are you still going to love her? You marry him because he got money. What happened to money is gone. What happened if he loses his job? What happened if the bank, the bank decided to fold and it take all his money? What you gonna do? Are you still gonna love him through thick and through thin, through through poverty, through through poverty and richness? I'm talking about love, my friend. And we as people, we love according to parents. We love according to parent, and we love according to people. But it's time to love according to the grace of God. We live in a time right now that love, hey, glory to God, is not according to God. Love according to how much money they have in the bank. Yes, my friend. Love according to he look good. Yes, my friend. And love because he handsome. You can't love according to that. Because what happened to the person, glory to God, you love them called their beauty and they can defy you and they, they face, their face becomes disfigured. Are you still going to love them? What happened to they get you caught in the fire and they become a monster? Are you still going to love them? So I'm telling you, my friend, the greatest lover in this world is Jesus Christ. Because love is a spirit. Love is not a flesh. Love is not a feelings. Love is not... A, a family, but love is a spirit, and we need the spirit of God. We don't need, my friend, we don't need roses. It's good to have roses. We don't need a teddy bear. Good to have a teddy bear. We don't need, glory to God, a one night stand in a hotel, but we need the spirit, which is love. Greater love have no man than this. That a man lay down his life for his friends. My friend, Jesus Christ laid down his life for you on the cross. Are you gonna lay down your life for your brother? You see, every day that's that that's that that, that, that don't know Jesus, and if he die, he's going straight to hell. Do you care about your brother? Do you care about your sister? Do you care about your next door neighbor? 
I'm not talking about neighbor living next door to you. I'm talking about somebody you pass by every day and don't witness him about witness to them about Jesus. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. It's time for you to lay down your life for your neighbor. It's time for you to lay down your life for your family. How you do that? You do it by witnessing to them about the greatest lover, which is Jesus Christ. So I'm, I'm telling you, my friend, in closing, love, love, the essence of love is God. The essence of love is God. Without God, we can't do nothing. But with God, we can do all things. And it's time for you to show more love to your neighbor. It's time for you to show more love to the sinner man that is lost. And if he die, he goes straight to hell. It's time to show more love.